Extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In this week's Climate Classroom, so far the Atlantic hurricane season has been one of the quietest in many years with only three named storms. The slow start to the season feels even more quiet because recent hurricane seasons have been hyperactive. And new research suggests that hurricane seasons a century ago likely had even more storms. In what may seem counterintuitive, a recent paper finds global warming is actually causing less tropical systems. Now, this is not a surprise to climate scientists. This was already the consensus view, but this new paper produced by some of the world's leading climate scientists lends a lot of credibility to that theory. Since 1900, the team of authors found 13% decline in the number of storms globally and a 28% decrease in the Atlantic. Since reliable hurricane records only go back to the 1970s, the team used computer models to compensate. I spoke to one of the authors, Dr. Michael Werner, about the findings. This, this decline is, you know, at least according to the models and the way, and I really think this is true, is only in the in the weak storms, in the in the named tropical storms, um, and the category ones. By the time you get up to category two, there isn't much change, um, and by the time you get to four and five, there's an increase. So although climate change may be spawning less storms, the storms that do form have a better chance of becoming destructive hurricanes. And major hurricanes cause 85% of the damage. For more Climate Classroom, go to WFLA.com. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.